BAPI Colombo is a mission to Mercury uh, to be built by the European Space Agency and it's designed to carry out a detailed investigation of the innermost planet in our solar system. It is uh, the terrestrial planet in our solar system that is we know the least about and yet it has obviously played a significant role in the uh, origin and evolution of our solar system and it's something we would like to know a lot more about. Switzerland has a number of involvements in the Bepi Colombo mission. Uh, the primary one, however, is in the development of the largest experiment on the spacecraft, which is BELLA, the Bepi Colombo Laser Altimeter Experiment. Um, this is a joint experiment between Switzerland and Germany, uh, with Switzerland taking the lead on the hardware development. BELLA is, a, in principle, a very simple experiment. It measures the time that it takes to send a laser pulse from the spacecraft to the surface of Mercury and back again. Um, that gives us information about the topography of the surface, so whether we have the depths of craters, the size of hills, the steepness of scarp structures on the surface of Mercury. The difficulty is that we will be at minimum 400 kilometers away from the surface of Mercury, at maximum more than a thousand kilometers away, and we're fire, having to fire a very powerful laser, and in return, the return pulse that comes back is really relatively faint. Under best case conditions, our instrument can detect just six photons in the return pulse, and that would allow us to make a, a range measurement to an accuracy of less than a meter. The, the journey is, uh, uh, is a very long one. It takes altogether six and a half years to get to Mercury after launch. Uh, the most exciting part is probably the launch itself and also the most dangerous for the experiment. Um, during the launch phase, um, the spacecraft is sitting on top of an Ariane 5 uh, rocket and is being shaken uh, around and we have to test the experiment to make sure it can withstand that shaking just in the first few minutes after it's been launched. We perform launch testing by basically putting it on what we call a shaker table which is does exactly that. It shakes the experiment uh, to simulate the, the, the launch loads. It then flies through interplanetary space for six years during which time it's experiencing energetic particles bombarding it, uh, which can damage electronics and can degrade optical surfaces. The experiment can get very cold, and we have to test that the experiment can withstand that. And then when it gets to Mercury, Mercury is pretty close to the sun. And being close to the sun, it's gonna get hot. And so we have to test and prove that the experiment can actually withstand being heated to very high temperatures. And we do all of that testing here in Bern. But the really exciting one for us is what we call the solar simulation test. Because we're going to Mercury we have to simulate the Sun's power on the external surfaces of the instrument. Um, in order to do that we've got a custom-built solar simulator which um, can simulate the Sun at Mercury and we shine this effectively huge light bulb at the, uh, at the instrument and see how the instrument responds to that. When we combine our data with other experiments such as measurements of the gravity field then we can identify concentrations of mass in the subsurface of Mercury. So Bella contributes to a broader experiment uh, which is to understand the geophysics of the planet and to get some information about the interior structure. <laughs>